Hello everybody, welcome back to another Unity tutorial. So today we're going to be covering how to detect distance between two objects. Um, and basically this is going to be quite simple, so it'll be quite a short tutorial. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm just going to set up a little level for us for the code to then be run on top of. So I'm going to make a small sort of little cube here, so it's a 5x5. Five five. Oh, uh, also actually name your level, I'm just going to call this test scene for now. You can call it whatever you like. Um, just going to press F there to focus on the object. So you can get the next so we can make a cube. I'm going to put this one by holding V in that corner. And I'm going to copy and paste that one over to there. Uh, let's create a new material for these. So we're going to detect the distance between these two cubes. Um, so let's make a material here, cube. Right. So we'll keep one of them white. Um, and we'll make these other one red, uh, there we go, so we're going to take the, uh, the distance between these two, um, I think we'll put the script on here, so what we can do is create a C sharp script called distance, I guess, um, if we go into here, okay, so this is going to be like, like I said, it's going to be really simple, um, so we're just going to have here, we're going to have a public game object uh, cube one like a spell there we go public game object cube two now I guess you could just do this uh, on the same line of code but I mean like you can just do oh well it's already called cube one uh, you could do cube one uh, and cube two on the same thing but I'd like just do it individually anyway um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make oh actually we're going to make a float here a float distance uh, and we'll make this public for now I guess actually I'll have to call this distance with an underscore because otherwise it uses the same name as this um, so distance is going to be equal to vector3 dot distance is literally a function for distance uh, between cube1 dot transform dot position and cube two dot transform dot blah, dot position. There we go. And then that's literally it. Uh, so what we can do here is we can run this code. So if we drag distance onto here, there we go. So we'll put cube one in there, cube two in there. Now if we run the game, we'll see we'll have hopefully this will update live. As we've put it in the update function, it's going to tell us that it's 5.6 uh, meters away. Uh, and if I move this cube to be over there, uh, it should hopefully be a little bit closer. There we go. Um, it's four. If I do this, um, and you're getting closer and closer and closer until you're like right on top. And it's at zero. So what this can be used for is like simple AI distance detection. So an example of this is if we do this here. So we can then have if the distance um, is bigger, that is less than 3, then we're going to output something to the console. So debug.log, there we go. Uh, we're going to say uh, alert enemy. We're going to do that. Uh, so basically, we're going to detect, oh, if the distance is less than 3, then uh, we're going to just see what's going on. It's going to let us know. So now if we play this, so obviously it's going to be there, there's nothing coming down the console. Actually, if I pop out the console, it might be easier to, to, for you guys to see. So if I do this, now if I move this cube, so we're not quite less than three, but now we are, and there we go. Just collapse those. And then you can see we're inside of that vicinity. If we walk away, we're not we go back back into that oh there we go so there you go that's that's basic distance detection um, it's literally an inbuilt function into unity uh, which is very handy but like you like you saw there, you can use it for simple AI detection you can use it for spawning different things so if, if your player is like a certain distance away from a spawner and like you can then make it detect if you're facing the wrong way or whatever it can spawn things so that's the distance function uh, and that's kind of that so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.